weekly love forecast. This is something I'm trying out and we'll see how it goes. Um, generally, spring is a little bit slower for me. Uh, the last two weeks have been kind of slow, so I was like, this is something that I've had requested in the past by a few people. And um, so just be patient with me, and of course you can leave me your comments below. But this is gonna be your weekly love reading for the week of March 6th through the 13th. And for your reading today, Gemini, I am using the uh, Steampunk Tarot. For clarification of any cards that I deem necessary, I'll be using the Chicoli Tarot Mini. And I'm going to be pulling an Oracle message from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart at the end of your reading. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started and see what the cards have to say hey, for you. Gemini's. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is your love reading for the week of March 6th through the 13th for all my Gemini suns, moons, and risings out there and those on the cusp that may be watching. I'm going to look at your present situation, your recent past, your near future, and the reason for your present situation, and the potential outcome. We'll also be looking at the card at the bottom of the deck. Oops, card almost flipped out there. For the overall theme or challenge of this week. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Gemini? This is for all my Gemini Sessions Risings and those on the cusp that may be watching this reading. What do they need to know regarding their love lives? What are the messages and energies that you have for them, Spirit? And this is a little bit of a new format for me, but um, ooh, that's my dog. Here's your present situation. We're going to look at your recent past, your near future, the reason, and your potential outcome here, or just your potential. I would say this is more like what you're thinking and feeling and therefore could be manifesting. You have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> as the overall theme or challenge of your reading this week. The Knight of Wands is a very outgoing, uh, passionate, flirtatious, fun uh, energy. And this can also say that there's positive news coming in for you in terms of your love life. There could be, uh, this could be a very sort of um, passionate affair as well that I'm seeing. Okay, your present situation, you have the Emperor. The recent past, you have the Nine of Cups. Near future, you have Four of Swords. Your reason is Three of Wands, and your potential outcome is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Let me move the camera over here so you can see the cards. Okay, very nice, Gemini. So in your present situation, you do have the Emperor, which is about, this can be, this is probably your energy, I would say. Um, typically, the Emperor is an Aries, like a Leo or an Aries man who's very strong, he's the head of the house, he thinks he's your boss, but if this is coming up as your energy, then I'm seeing you taking on kind of this characteristic, this kind of role. Very um, masculine energy, very powerful. Um, I would say that you are probably favoring your uh, logic, your mind this week, over your emotions or over your heart. Now in the recent past, I do have the Nine of Cups, which says that you were really enjoying life. I see this as um, a lot of pleasure, um, food, wine, and friends. This can be a celebration, um, a wish coming true, really anything that is just centrally gratifying for you, just really enjoying life, okay? Now, um, the reason that you have the Emperor here is the Three of Wands. I'm just kind of skipping around here which says that you uh, may be waiting for something to happen in your love life. It also says that you have long-term plans, that you have your eyes set on something in the future here, and you're willing to work for it. You're willing to wait for it. This is a growth card. It's very nice in this position. It says that you have long-term vision, and you may actually be looking for some kind of long-term relationship or just in a growth period of your life in terms of love here. I wouldn't say that 
Uh, the Emperor is a very romantic card, nor is the Three of Wands, but in terms of love, I think for this week, it just says that you are, um, you have plans. You're making plans and you're willing to kind of uh, have a long-term vision for them. You have a lot of control with this Emperor card. Um, you have a lot of power and you're also quite stable with this energy, so you aren't going to be making um, huge fluctuations with your emotions or anything like that. Now, um, yeah, for your potential, this is what you may be thinking or feeling. You have a ton of wands in reverse. So something maybe have maybe you put you feel like you put too much effort into something and you need to drop drop what you're doing and kind of move in a new direction. So in terms of love, you may um, feel like someone is too much work and you need to kind of uh, basically this is like sort of my dumping card. So it could be saying that you need to like. Set down your burdens and take a breather this week. Take a rest. Um, move in a new direction. Um, I also feel like what I'm getting from this card energetically in terms of your potential is that um, you just need to be careful about overburdening yourself or putting too much effort into any one specific relationship where it feels like you're doing all the work. Um, because here it's saying that it's likely that you will um, find that, that that whatever you're doing is a little bit too much effort and you're going to need to kind of pivot in a new direction here and put down put down that burden um, because you don't want to be overloaded. And then your future, you have the Four of Swords. So I do see some kind of break happening for you. Just could be a rest period. It could just be a time for reflection. Remember, the Four of Swords does come after the Three of Swords. So I, f I feel like... This is simply just um, a resting period for you where you can kind of meditate, um, take things really easily. You may just be taking a vacation or a break from your love life. So let's go ahead and clarify some of these energies. Actually, I want to look at the Ten of Wands in reverse here. Why, do, why is the Ten of Wands in reverse for Gemini's potential? Why is the... Ten of Wands in reverse for Gemini's potential. Okay, we have the Moon. So you may just be a little bit unsure of where things are going right now. There could be some confusion, deep emotion, fear. Um, it's almost like you're questioning if you're on the right path um, this week. And you may just need to take a, a break. Okay, we have the Four of Cups in the present. So that's kind of like you just chilling out. And then we have again the Four of Swords, which is definitely you taking a break because I have it in the near future here. Let us look at uh, the reason for this. We have the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands in the reason position? Okay. We have the Page of Cups. So you may be waiting on a love message or you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and you're just waiting to see, um, I heard you're waiting to get a response back. Another page, Page of Pentacles. This is, uh, again, this could be you. I kind of, I'm seeing someone like on their phone a lot who's checking out profiles. So you could be doing some social networking this week and just you have like a couple of different suitors in mind. Um, again, the Page of Pentacles is more a focus on the body, more on the physical. So you may be looking for more of a physical relationship right now. And we have the Six of Pentacles, which is you're in a very giving place right now. You feel like you can you have a lot to give and you're ready to share that part of yourself. You're ready to, to receive and you're ready to give. Let's take a look at the Four of Swords in your future. Why is the Four of Swords in Gemini's future? Why is the Four of Swords in Gemini's future? Again, this could be some kind of a rest. We have the Temperance card, so this is definitely you uh, taking a chill pill, relaxing, um, healing. This is a healing energy. We also have the Knight of Cups, so you are definitely in a romantic frame of mind. You may be thinking about someone or in kind of a dreamy dream state. Um, 
you may be waiting for your lover to return. Uh, this can also signify that there's definitely a water sign you're dealing with, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, that you're just um, resting, uh, waiting for. And then you have the Three of Wands, which is very nice. It's echoed down here. And this is another card about waiting. So you're in a romantic place, but I feel like you're just kind of waiting around this week, Gemini. Another card pops out, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you are you have more than one option for some of you. Um, you could be looking at an Earth sign as well, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Um, but you seem to be juggling your affairs really well. Let's go ahead and pull an Oracle message for you. Again, these readings are a lot shorter than my love forecast I do every month. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Let me know in the comments if this weekly love reading is something that you're interested in getting every week or I'm really just trying it out and we'll have to see how it goes. But um, okay, two cards, three cards. Success and growth, very nice. I think this came out for you. Um, in your general mid-month reading. By the way, guys, I do general mid-month readings over on my Patreon page. Those are more extended um, forecasts as well. We have the third eye chakra, which is your activating your intuition here, and find balance, which resonates with the two of pentacles that came up in your clarification card. So let's talk about these three cards. Where's my little book here? So we're going to start first with success and growth this week. Okay, keywords are accomplishment, speed, resolution, and progress. Very nice. The energy of manifestation is around you now, Gemini, and you're being moved forward in a positive way. Stay focused on your heart. When this card appears, success is at hand and it may happen quickly. Your past efforts are being rewarded. This is a time of new flourishing relationships, and successful resolutions to conflict and struggle. This is also an ideal period for a greater understanding and personal growth. Listen expectantly for messages that will help you see yourself and others in a fresh and positive light. Okay, that is the short version of that message. There's more text there, but I'm, I want to get through all of these for you. The second card that popped out is a chakra card. Um, the third eye chakra resonates with the color indigo, which is a good color for you to wear this week. That This is the color indigo, by the way. It resonates with the sound um if you meditate, the element light, the gland pituitary, and the keywords I see. Very spiritual card here. The third eye chakra is the most often talked about of all the chakras. Clairvoyance, inner seeing, intuition, and higher levels of consciousness are all associated with this energy center. Found between your eyebrows and just above the bridge of your nose, it works closely with the throat and crown chakras and will assist you with your psychic and intuitive inner guidance. To enhance this chakra Gemini, work on strengthening your intuitive abilities. Close your eyes and visualize a circle, a square, and then in any image, practicing with your mind's eye. Imagine the sound of a train, a car horn, or a telephone. Practice hearing with your inner ear. Energizing the chakra helps you to intuitively know what others are thinking, feeling, and saying. This insight goes a long way toward building better and stronger bonds. Beautiful. You guys are going to be very intuitive this week. I can already... You Geminis are just doing really fabulous and doing a lot of work on themselves. I'm so proud of you guys. Find balance. Okay, this is the third card that came up, and I feel like this is kind of like one of those cards where... This is a little extra guidance message for you guys um, because it kind of popped out as well in your clarification card. So just for those of you who have a lot going on in your life right now and are just trying to manage everything, it just says that you're doing really well. Keep on doing that. Can I find the card? Sometimes I can't find the card here. Do, 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 do. Physical. Okay, so this does resonate with the pentacles are the physical, material, material world. Keywords are cope, multitask, breathe, arbitrate. Gemini, you may find that matters of the heart require extra effort at this time. I'm seeing this more towards the end of the week, actually, for you. 
More and more demands may be placed upon you, requiring you to juggle your attention. Family gatherings, school commitments, requests for assistance, and other obligations may arise within a short period of time. Remember, because we're dealing with the Eight of Wands here. This is very fast-moving energy and change. Just breathe and remember to be flexible. Adapt your approach to each situation at hand. Know that you have the ability to keep everything and everyone in balance. Just like this little juggler here. You guys are doing great. Going to be happier for you. Thank you so much for joining me for this short little lo weekly love reading. If you guys like these love readings, please do let me know in the comments because otherwise I don't know if I will continue offering them. I hope that I can. But um, yeah, I just love to know your feedback. So just, just let me know in the comments. Take care, guys. Love and light.